everybody. My name is Ashley Floyd, and I'm an engineer with the Department of the Navy. And uh, people call me Rockstar Ashley, right? Well, guess what? I got another rock star for you here today. Uh, his name is Daryl. He's going to tell you a little bit about himself, and I'm excited for you guys to get to know Daryl. Daryl, tell us about yourself. Yeah, so my name is Daryl Watkins. Um, I'm from outside of Chicago, uh, Aurora, Illinois. So about 30, mil 30 miles uh, west of Chicago. Um, I was an NREP intern back in 2019 the summer 2019. And at the end of that internship, uh, I was offered a chance to continue working in it at the Naval Research Laboratory as a contractor. So I've been continuing there part time as a contractor, uh, fully remote since um, the end of the summer then. And I'm also now a graduate student at the University of Michigan. Whoa, whoa. So okay, so all right, let's, let's back up just a little bit. So in rep, what is that? Like, can you tell me a little bit about that program? And how do you find sure. out about it? Sure. So the NREP program is for uh, college students to, that are interested in working with the Navy. Um, when I applied, there was like 40 different laboratories you could apply to. Um, and you got to pick two and then you got to click a box that said, oh, apply to all. So I was like, OK, I'll pick my two and apply to all. Um, and so it's a great program because you get to experience what the Navy has to offer uh, from a civilian perspective and working with uh, research and development um, medicines, I mean, all sorts of different things at their different locations. Um, so it's been a really great experience. Wow. So wait a minute, you could apply to 40 different organizations? Wow. So yeah. like all over, like where are these? Like all over the country? All over the country. They have some in the DC area, in Florida, in I believe uh, Indiana, in Hawaii. So Whoa. all across the nation. And that's one of the things that I really liked about applying to the NREP programs because they had all these different locations that had specific things that may fit your, your interests. So it's not just you have to be physics and understand uh, the plasma physics, which is kind of the area I'm in. No, you can do stuff with, with, the, with medicine and getting into more weapons training and you know all sorts of things. Even I think there was psychology involved in some of the locations. So there's a, there a broad range of things you could do. Like, are you doing this in going to school? Like, when when does NREP actually happen? Yeah, so NREP was a summer program. Um, so I did my application in uh, the fall of the previous, of the summer I wanted to go into. So in fall of 2018, um, did that, applied. Uh, I got my offer in early January, and then it took place uh, from the middle of May to the middle of August. So it was a good, it was a 10-week program in the summer. Uh, and that's just, that's the time they do it. Wow, wow, wow. So, okay, so let me get this straight. You're in college and you found out about this internship opportunity. So you applied. And so where did you actually get accepted to, to do your internship? So I got accepted to the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory in Washington, D.C. And it was not one of the top two I applied to. I had oh. clicked the box that said apply to all afterwards. Uh, right. So that's, a, that's an important thing to do if you have an application with that option. Wow. So, okay. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, even though you didn't get your top choices, it sounds like you still found a great fit. So I think you mentioned something like you're a contractor now. So, so you work, you had your internship. So you're, are you still in school? So I'm still in school. Uh, so I, I was, I did NREP following my junior year in, in undergrad and then continued on as a contractor with the same uh, group, the same supervisor, uh, working on the same project. And I did that throughout the, my senior year, finishing that. Uh, worked it last summer as well as, as COVID had happened. I was still remote. Um, and then now in grad school at the University of Michigan, I still do some work part-time as a contractor with NRL. You mentioned that you worked with NRL uh, during your NREP summer, right? Yep. Uh, so what did you actually do? Like, who did you work, uh, who did you work with down there? Yeah, so I worked within the pulse power physics branch, uh, which is which is underneath oh. the plasma the, the plasma physics division. Um, so I was I was within. There's several tiers in NRL because they cover so much so much stuff in research. Um, so I was in the pulse power physics branch, which focuses on understanding um, the way ion beams work. Uh, they also have the rail gun, which was something that was really cool to see. Uh, so they do a lot of that type of work. How did this internship really like change the trajectory of like where you were going? Like, what did you want to do? Or did you even know what you wanted to do before having your internship? Yeah, I think this has been the NREP program in, in the summer 2019. And then what happened after just changed everything. Um, my, my dad is a Navy veteran. Both my grandpas are Navy veterans. So there was, 
you know, part of this was like a great opportunity for me to get involved in the Navy. Um, and when I finished the, the program, the NREP program that summer, I, I had thought I wanted to go to grad school for like mechanical engineering and just do something that just can, I can go anywhere with it. But after the internship, I was like, no, I want to keep doing this type of work. Um, I want to get involved with plasma physics and, and pulse power. So I was like, this is what I want to do. And so I applied um, to graduate schools to, to kind of focus in on that. And so it's just been, it's completely changed what I thought I wanted to do um, in the specific area I wanted to do. And it was just, it's just been the, the best experience. Wow. Like, and, and, you know, that's crazy. Cause I know that like most time coming out of high school, I definitely didn't know what I wanted to do. Even going through college when I was graduating, I said, I just want a job, you know, I didn't, even, I don't know what to do. So I'm, I'm really glad that you mentioned, um, uh, you know, like how this like changed. It's like, wait a minute, there's this whole Navy world mm -hmm. with all these careers and all this research that I can get my hands into. It's like, sign me up. Oh yeah. It was great. It's one of those things that's like, you don't really, I think as college students, it's hard to kind of think about all these different things going on. And so getting involved in it was like, oh, this is perfect. Like I didn't even really realize that this was a thing I could do. And so it's just been absolutely uh, amazing to be a part of it and kind of how it's changed the next several years of my life and, and possibly my entire career. Wow. Wow. So that, that, that is definitely a unique journey. So even while still a student, you pretty much were hired to continue. That means, that means you're doing some really cool work. Oh, it was, it's some great work. I do stuff with um, cross sections with molecular nitrogen and getting to understand how those, the theory of that and dealing with some quantum mechanic, quantum, quantum mechanical effects of that. And so it's been a really fun journey. Wow. So, okay. So you're telling me, did you want to be this when you were like 10 years old growing up? Like, how did you get into this type of field? How did you yeah. even want this major? Sure. So in my undergrad, I, I did physics and I started in freshman year. I came in with the engineering physics degree. So I would have should have done three years of physics at my undergrad institution. And then I would transfer to another larger institution and do an engineering degree. So I'd finish in five years with two degrees. Um, but as I got into physics my freshman year, I was like, no, this is great. I love doing that. I'm going to keep doing this. So I switched to a full physics degree um, and have worked through that. And then uh, I found out during my junior year about this opportunity. And I was like, I got to apply to this. Wow. That, that, that is so cool. So, so tell me something like it. So it sounds like you're working and you're like doing school. Like, is that all you do? Like, is like all you do is school and work? Um, it, at times it feels like that. Yes. <laughs> um, during, when I was in my undergrad, I did my first two years, freshman, sophomore year. I also played football. Uh, so that was kind of my extracurricular during the first couple of years. Uh, then I switched to doing uh, Olympic style weightlifting through the wow. rest of my um, my college career, which I wasn't necessarily good, but I enjoyed doing it. Wow. So like, you know, getting a good education and having some time to work, but also doing some passions outside of work. Mm hmm. But, you know, because you, you you would think like, hey, when you go to school, some of these classes are hard classes with the higher up you get, right? But you are still able to have fun and do things that you enjoyed outside of that. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's hard work, That's but... tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's tough. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, what about, so who, who would you say impacted you in like, in getting into like the STEM fields? Like who had the most impact to you growing up? So I think... One of the bigger impacts I had was in high school, uh, the later years of high school, um, I started, I took physics, the first physics class in my junior year of high school, uh, and had a really fun time. Um, and then my second year, or my senior year, I took the second physics class. And that was just like, this is great. I love doing this. Uh, my teacher in high school was, was awesome. So he, he was a big influence. I'm like, this is a good field for me. Um, I had done some engineering AutoCAD classes, so I had a little bit of engineering understanding. And so, yeah, the really the tail end of high school was was got me into the, the more engineering and STEM field. Well, look, I appreciate you for taking the time out to talk with me today and tell me about this amazing career. You know, and I, I good luck in graduating and picking a great topic because I know that it's going to be a great topic. And I, I wouldn't I would be surprised if the Navy Research Lab didn't say, you know, Joe, please, please come work with us. Right. <laughs> oh, one can hope. I'm hoping for it. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you so much. And I appreciate you for taking the time. And, and I hope that someone who hears your story that, hey, is even playing football now makes the pivot over to STEM. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the best. It's the best. Well, thank you so much, Daryl. 
Thank you.